We're going to have a look at investigating some temperature change and for this we're going to look at the reaction of copper sulphate with zinc metal powder. This is going to be just an investigation so we're not going to measure things out very accurately because we want to see what's going on. So I'm going to measure out about 25 centimeter cubed of copper sulfate, a little bit much, but that's not going to make any difference. We're going to use a polystyrene cup because that's going to try and keep the heat in. I've got a thermometer which is going to go up to 100 because I'm expecting a large temperature change. Let's put in the copper sulfate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the thermometer down so that it's now all in the liquid and I'm going to wait now for a few moments while we record the starting temperature. Once we've got the starting temperature, then I'm now ready to add my zinc metal powder. So this is at 25 degrees C and I'm going to put in two spatula measures of the zinc powder. One, two, and I'm going to give them a stir. And the temperature is shooting up. It's now reached 50 degrees centigrade and it's still climbing. I'm going to give it another stir. We've reached 60 degrees centigrade. There we got up to 70 degrees centigrade and I can see a little bit of steam coming off the water in the cup. Give it another little stir. And we've got 72. You can still see we've got some reaction occurring. But the temperature doesn't seem to be going up now anymore. And we're now just starting to drop. So 72 was the maximum. If we have a look at what we've achieved, the liquid has changed colour and although this is looking a little bit grey, in fact the blue of the copper sulphate has disappeared and become a clear liquid, that of zinc sulphate. So the zinc has reacted with the copper and has taken away the sulphate from the copper, leaving us with zinc sulphate and copper. And this reaction is still going just about, but as we saw, the temperature really sort of peaked. And now we can actually do a different experiment and we can watch how this cools. This experiment is very rough and ready. And what we need to do 
is see what we can do to try and improve it.